right, in lesson three, we're going to be translating lines. So we'll be looking at translating them along a certain vector, so a certain direction, a certain length, and then also discussing properties of each one of those lines, the original and the one that we translated. So on your notes, if you look at number one, it says draw a line passing through point P that is parallel to line L, and this is line L right down here. So we're going to do that first. So this is line L right down here. So what we're going to do is make a line parallel going through point P. Now remember that parallel means that those lines will never touch each other, never intersect, no matter how long or how short that they are. So the first thing I'm going to do with my line is I'm going to copy it and paste it. Now on yours, what you'll need to do is take a piece of computer paper and trace the line and trace the point P onto your computer paper and then you are just going to slide that up so that that line goes through P. So I will just be able to drag it straight up and that's what yours should look like and you'll still have the original line down there at the bottom. Put that back in there real quick. So when you're done it should look like this. Now the second thing it asks you to do is to draw a second line passing through point P again that is parallel to line L that is distinct or different from the first one. Well if I draw another line that's parallel going through point P it's going to be the same line. It's not going to be different from the first one. So here it asks you, what do you notice? So that's what we're going to write for what we notice. That they would be the same line. Now, moving on to number two. It says translate line L, so here's the line, along vector AB, and vector AB is right here in the middle. What do you notice about the line and its image? So what you're going to do again is on your computer paper you're going to trace this entire image right here, and then we are just going to slide it. So the arrow right here tells you that you are going to move your line to the right. So I know the beginning will be somewhere in here, the end will be somewhere over here. So when you slide your computer paper over, you're going to make sure you're going to be tracing it over in this general area over to the right. Okay, and once you have it traced, you're just going to slide your image and remember you want the end of one arrow to match up with the beginning of the other arrow. So here I have the end of this vector matched up with the beginning of the other vector and that's going to show you right where your new line should be. So if I trace that in a different color you'll be able to see here's the beginning of that line, here's the end of that line over here. And it stretches all the way through there. So there's my new line. Okay, flipping over to the back side, looking at number three. It says line L is parallel to vector AB. Translate line L along vector AB and what do you notice about L and its image? So again our vector tells us that we're going to be moving that line over to the right and then the length of this vector tells us how far we're going to move it. So again you want to trace line L and the vector onto your computer paper and then whenever you slide it you're going to be sliding that paper so that the end of this vector lines up with the head of the other of the arrow there. 
Okay, so here, whenever I slide it, I am going to make sure that those vectors are in a straight line, and you don't want any gap in between there. You want to make sure that they, the head of one lines up with the head of the other. And here you can see now where the beginning of your line and the end of your line. And we will label this new line L prime. Remember, that's with an apostrophe. That's how you name your new images. Now it asks us, what do you notice about L, the original line, and the translated line, L prime? And we notice that L and L prime coincide. That means they overlap. And we can say that L is equal to L prime. They are the same length. So they are equal to each other and they coincide. They overlap with each other. Okay, moving on to number four. It says translate line L along vector AB. What do you notice about L and its image? Now this time, your vector is going up. So that means we're going to take line L and move it straight up. So you want to go ahead and trace this entire image onto your computer paper. And then when you're ready to slide it, you're going to take that, your computer paper, and you are just going to move it straight up. Now I'm going to move mine down so I have a little bit of room here. Okay, and as I move this, remember you want the head of one vector to line up with the tail of the other one. So here they're matching up, and I'm going to go ahead and label my new line L prime, and it asks what do you notice about the original line and its image? And this time we notice that they are parallel. They will never cross each other. Now the way we show that is we say line L and here is your symbol for parallel. It's just two lines that are parallel. So L is parallel to L prime. Okay, moving on to number five. It says line L has been translated along vector AB resulting in L prime. So here's your original line up above and then it's been moved down. So here's your new image. It says, what do you notice about lines L and L prime? And we notice that they are parallel, just like on the last example. Again, we'll show that L is parallel to L prime. And there's number five. And then lastly, number six says, translate line one and line two along vector DE. So DE is showing we're going to move it, those lines up and to the right just a little bit. We will label the images and then if line 1 and line 2 are parallel, what do you know about their translated images? So we could already answer that question. As long as you translate them the same distance, the same direction, then your line 1 prime and your line 2 prime will be parallel. So before we translate them, you're going to need to trace this entire image onto your computer paper. So go ahead and do that. And once you have it traced, then when you're ready to move, remember you're going to slide it along this line. And I want my new lines to be moved somewhere up and to the right. So before you trace, make sure that those new lines are up and to the right a little bit. So you want the head of one vector to meet the tail of the other one. And you can see here, I have line one prime and line two prime. They are both moved or translated up and to the right just a little bit. 
and if you notice the new ones are indeed parallel which is what we said to answer the question.